Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about JSON support in Flask. So using JSON in Flask is actually pretty simple because the, the types in the JSON object map to Python types. So those types are dictionaries and lists in Python which map to the objects and arrays in JSON. So as long as you're familiar with both JSON and uh, basic Python types, you should be able to understand this video. So right now I have a Flask app set up that doesn't do anything yet. Uh, let me create a single route on just the index and I'll call it index. And I'll return test just to make sure it works. And I have Postman up. Postman is a way to send requests to a particular endpoint. Uh, this endpoint is on my local machine, but it makes dealing with JSON data a little easier. So let me start the server just to make sure everything works. And I'll demonstrate a couple of cases where you can use JSON and Flask. So I just sent the request to uh, the URL and I got tests back, which is exactly what I wanted. So the first thing I'll demonstrate is how to read JSON. So to read JSON, you'll need the request um, imported, and then I'll need to send a post request. So let's make sure that this accepts both get requests and post requests. So get and post. And in here in Postman, I'll construct a JSON object. So I need to start with a post request and it's going to have a body. And anytime you're sending a JSON request, make sure the headers are for JSON. So application slash JSON. Postman takes care of this for me. Uh, I just added this header up here, content type application JSON. So that way when Flask gets a hold of it, it knows it's looking at JSON and not some just, not uh, raw text. So now I'll start with a very simple one. I'll say key value. Pretty simple. And I'll send it. And I still get test back. And that's because I haven't changed anything here, but I was able to send it. So to access that, let's say um, I'll call value request.json. So this gets the JSON object that was sent. So this. And then you can start looking inside of it by using the Python equivalent. So since the JSON object here is just the JavaScript object. So it has a key and it has a value. This gets mapped over to a Python dictionary. And if this were an array, this value were an array, it will get mapped to a Python list. And I'll demonstrate that in a moment. So request.json, and then the name of it is key. And I just want to return value. So it's going to return the variable value, which actually has the uh, the value of value. Maybe I should change this to something else. So I'll just say uh, my JSON value. How about that? And I didn't mean to hit save. So I'll send this, and I should see my JSON value down here if everything works correctly. And I do. So this is the response, and it's just taking the uh, value from the key and basically just mirroring it back. So if I have a list in here, I can do something similar. I'll say list, or I'll call it array, since it's technically an array in a JSON. And I'll have a colon, and I'll just do one, two, and three. And I'll put zero in there, since it's zero index. Okay, so I'll send that and nothing changes because I haven't done anything with this array yet. So here in the code, I can now grab the array. And I can't return this array directly because uh, it gets converted into a list and you can't return lists. You can only return strings because of, way, of the way Flask works. So let's take a look at the, the second element in the array. So I should get two because that's what I'm sending. So let me send this and I get two down here. 
And if I change this to be zero, whoops, zero, and send it, I get zero instead. So it's pretty simple reading uh, either arrays in JSON or just the objects in a JSON object. And like I said, they get converted to Python lists for arrays and Python dictionaries for objects. So this is a list here because I was reading from an array. So now reading JSON is easy, but how about writing JSON? So to do that, you import another uh, module called JSONify. So JSON if I F Y. And this will take a Python dictionary and a Python list and convert it to its JSON equivalent. So if I do something like this, uh, I'll ignore this here and I'll say result equals um, result. Not very descriptive. And I'll use JSONify and I'll pass back um, a dictionary. So I have the curly brackets here and I'll give it a key and then the result will be result. And now when I send, uh, instead of a post, I'll just do a git. I'll send and now you see I have key result here because it's taking this Python dictionary and converting it to a JSON object. So if I have a Python list like this, zero through five, and I send, I get a JSON object with this array um, from zero to five because JSONify is taking care of that for me. So it's basically translating Python dictionaries and Python lists into JSON objects and arrays inside of JSON objects. So it's very simple. And as, like I said, as long as you understand Python dictionaries and lists, and you understand JSON, which is a pretty simple way to express data, then you can pretty much figure out any combination that you need for um, creating JSON objects and reading JSON objects in Flask. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about JSON objects in Flask, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time.